Hello, hello. Antonio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, my friend? Uh, just, just a little tired, teacher. Oh, really? Today. Why? Yes, today I, I had to work overtime. Oh, really? Yes. So I, I, I get home at, at 6 city. 6.45 p.m. Okay. Yes, yeah, so a little tired. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yes. But uh, I had I had a, a, a lot of work. Uh, uh, what can we do, right? Yes. That's part of life. Yeah, but actually is suddenly suddenly increase increase the work. Oh really? Yes, yeah, sometimes this happening. How to say emer emergency? How pronounce emergency? Emergency. Emergency. Yes, yeah. yeah, sometimes it happen emergency, and so it because I I had to work overtime today. Mm, that's why. That's why I have to work overtime. That's why. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, well, but yeah. overtime is also extra money, right? Yes, teacher, of course. Oh, okay, that's the good part. Yes. Saturday too is, is extra money too. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's nice. So, yes, teacher. A, a good payday. Yes, Good Friday. <laughs> it's near, but it's in November. No. Well, that's good. I mean, when you get a little bit of extra, it's always nice. Antonio, welcome to the club. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. You're always on time, always early. That's excellent. Let's see. Mr. Magdaleno. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? How's everything? Tell me. Hi, teacher. I I had a long no, yes, uh, a long weekend. I worked like a like a mason and like a, no, as as a mason as a welder and yeah you you can emit you can imagine is right imagine yeah imagine yeah, that you can you can you can imagine that we are work we we was working we in a new working. shirt we was working we in were a new ah we were we were yeah. working in a new church in a countryside Oh really? Building? Yeah. Yes, in the building in the pastoral homes. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, that's great. It's amazing. It's amazing. So we saw the new the, the people who are who are working there. Wow, that's excellent. I mean yes, it's always I, good. It's always yes, good when we, you can do that type of activities, right? Yes, that's right. We had we had lunch with them and the worship too. Also the the worship. Okay, well, that's excellent. Yeah. You worked. You worked. And weekend, right? I work every day, my friend. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, there's no weekend, there's no weekdays. I mean, it's the same. Every day is the same old story. 
Okay, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Sometimes, believe me, sometimes my days get like twisted. <laughs> but I'm thinking that it's Saturday, that tomorrow is Saturday, and I'm like, and they tell me, no, tomorrow is Sunday, and I'm like, what, what? Or tomorrow is Friday, and I am like, sometimes I lose the, the, the sequence of the day because of that, because... You lose the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it happens to me, you know. And besides that, yeah. you got to add the aspect of the old yeah. age, you know. Yeah. It is really. Okay. I mean, yeah, but it's nice. Well, good to have you here, my friend. Uh, good. To, uh, so sorry. Could you repeat that, please? It is good to have you here. Back in class. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't have a headphone. He earphone, earphone, earphone or headphone? Okay. What is correct? It, de it depends. It depends. I mean, earphones are the ones you put in with a cable. Without cable, the ones that you put in but don't have a cable, those are earbuds. Mm -hmm. These are headphones. You see? Because yeah. they cover my head. Okay, in my case, I don't have earphone. Earphone. Okay. Yeah, but for, for the class, they help. They are a little bit uncomfortable, actually. But yes. What can we do? Hey, Magdalena, nice having you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you for making this effort. I know it's, I mean, I know everybody here is making the effort to do. It's nothing. Classes and everything, but it's, it's not as easy it's as not, it it's, looks. It's really not a big deal. Well, sometimes it is. You know, the schedule is not easy. <laughs> okay. You know, the schedule here is not that, that easy, oh. right? Yeah, right. Okay, let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Yvette, hello. Hello, Peter. How are you? Uh, very good. Okay, how was your day? Um, my day, um, uh, reviewing report. Okay, reviewing. Yeah. Reviewing, okay. Reviewing report. Um, reviewing information. And Okay, that was my whole day. That was my whole day. That, oh, um, was was for day in in preparing report in. In information um, like banco, 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 banks, yeah, banks, banks, okay, um, uh, preparing in um, solicitudes, um, how do you say solicitudes? Okay, uh, mm, applications, applications. Okay. Application day of information in a content, in um, a content, a start financial? Uh, financial status. Okay, financial status. 
Preparing the book. Okay. Very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Oh, yes. Um, complication in in reviewing in. Number, number, uh, information number. Um, okay. Wow. So you held your day. I mean, it's uh, you held your day quite busy tonight, today. Es todo muy ocupada, right? Oh, yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Mr. De Leon, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Actually, <clears throat> I'm totally spent. <laughs> I am spent. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I, uh, I can't participate. The, I couldn't. I couldn't participate the, the class. Uh, I have, no, I was uh, stay here in, the, in my job for 36 hours, continuous 36 hours, and go and went to my home to eight o'clock in the in the night. It really need rest. Yeah, I know. I understand. I understand. And, 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 to, and today I return to my to my job at six o'clock in the AM. <clears throat> Okay, well, but the good thing is that we have you here today ready for class, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I participate in, in a little moments, but uh, actually my job, remember, is, is a complicated yeah, but for yeah, my last But I am here for, for, for helping the, for us. Okay, perfect. No, good to have you here. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. <clears throat> Okay, Mr. De Leon, I, I just texted you at, in the in the Zoom chat. Check it out. Okay, let's see who else is here. Xiomara, hello, Xiomara, how are you? Good, teacher. Very good. Good. Okay, that's nice. Tell me, how uh, was your day? What did you do today? Uh, my day was um, excellent. Because there was a, a little bit work and sometimes I rest. Okay. And at what time did you finish working? At 4.30. 4.30. Okay. Well, that's nice. So 4 you finished working. Did you have uh, dinner already? Yes, teacher, at 6 p.m. because I was hungry. Okay. 
Okay, well, that's nice. What did you have for dinner tonight? I ate fish. I'm fish. sorry? I ate fish. Fish with cheese. Oh, for dinner? Yeah, for dinner. <clears throat> okay, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. What type, what's your favorite type of fish? Um, I forget the name, but it's a small fish. I don't remember fish. the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, a small fish. you will find out, you will find out. What's your favorite dish? I like soups, different soups, but I hate sopa de pata. Oh, really? No, it's not. I don't like it. That's funny, you know. I love sopa de pata. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I mean, for me, sopa de pata is delicious. Mm -hmm. We not the others, yes, but the this no. In your case, sopa de pata is not good for you. Okay, well, yeah, we are all different. I mean, that's normal. Don't worry. Okay, well, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Luis Mario, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Super good. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know. Nice. I am here ready to, to learn. Okay. How was your day today? It was a difficult day, but, um, you know, I, I have to do send many emails, answer calls and send uh, offered about project and a lot of things. Okay, well, you were very busy. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, I understand, yeah, I understand. I mean, that's part of the job, no? To be busy, yeah. I mean. We Every day. To. We have to, uh, there's no, there's no option, right? Yeah. Yeah, but what can we do? I mean, that's life, working, working, working. Tell me, Mr. Uh, do you have a family? I mean, are you married? Are you single? No, no yet. Oh, but I, I live. Yeah, but oh. I live with, with my parents, so I I am still a son. <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a project to twenty. 20, 20, I like, I will like, uh, no, I will move to apartment or, or a house. Okay, well, that's interesting. It's, it's my project. Okay, how old are you, mister? 26 years old. Uh, you're young, you're young, you still got time. Still. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, the thing is this, that uh, it's actually okay, you know, but the situation is that uh, in our culture, in our culture, I mean, people expect us to get, uh, to get like a, a, a married, to be independent up to certain ages, but 
you know, in other countries, I mean, it's quite normal people to be like 35, 40 years um, and be on their own, being single. I mean, it's just the, the perspective from, from, from the, the culture, from the generations. Yeah, the culture, because like, uh, I mean, in my generation, the goal was, uh, okay, you study, you go to the university, you finish our career, and get married. get married, yeah. you get married, and the first goal is you get a house. And okay? sounds. You get a house, and I mean, priority was always a house, not a car. But now, if you notice, a lot of people, I mean, they are young, they, they have studied, they get a job. First thing they get into is a car. Yeah. Second, perhaps perhaps a house but it's not a priority because i mean houses right now man are expensive, so expensive. and renting yeah. is expensive i mean if you go to ask for a for a mortgage for a loan if you go ask for a for a loan to a bank for a house Man, they they want you to be earning like two thousand dollars per month. Yeah, what is the meaning for loan? Loan, un préstamo. Okay, okay. Actually, what they do is that they give it to you, but automatically you mortgage the house. Mortgage, mortgage is hipoteca. Okay. And. and do you prefer buy a house or renting? Uh, I mean, it depends. It all depends. Because <laughs> in my case, let me see, I was renting for like for four, four or five years. A couple of years. And, yeah. And then, uh, and then we went to the bank, asked for a loan and mortgaged the house. I mean, we got a house, we are paying it to the bank. Like for so many years, man, I, I'm gonna die paying this thing. But <laughs> yeah. as I tell you, it's it's a matter of the generation. I mean, in my generation, even if you are paying to the bank, but I tell you, but but it's gonna be yours. It's going to be your your uh inheritance for your for your kill. Matter la, la herencia, right? I mean, and and supposedly, and that's funny because I mean, even banks after that, I mean, they they considered you a better client if you are doing that. And some companies they used to evaluate you like that before. I mean, now they have changed, but some companies, some of their politics were like politics were like if you are. A, if you are working and if you got a family and if you are paying a house then they tell you okay uh, that's a good person that's a good employee because that person needs the, the job they're going to take care of the opportunity so but things are changing because priorities are changing I mean society and culture is changing and the, the way in which we see the world is different. I mean, my generation thinks quite different from, from yours. And in 10 years, you are going to feel out of context, perhaps with younger people. Yes, yes. And how, how old are you? I am 42. But you are young. Mm, yeah. Only, I only, don't, only how the problem between, is that I don't feel you that young between you and me. Only have only there, only there. Oh, oh, yeah, but there's something you know. Yesterday I was talking about that in a class, and okay. it's something funny. Okay, okay, and let's see who is who's older than than 30 okay the ones who are above 30 will tell you this um, when you reach a certain age 
Like uh, when you go past the thirties, cuando no pasa de los treinta. Sí. The, the, the gap, the depression gap in, in years, in ages, uh, the, you perceive it differently. Like, I mean, if I am in my, if I am 34, 35, and I see somebody that is 40, I mean, I don't feel that much different. Right now, I am I am 42. With somebody who's 50, I don't feel out of context. But when we see somebody on, the, on their 20s, for us, I mean, for me, you are very young. Yeah. I because understand. as I told you, it's, it's the way of thinking, the, the generational gap we got make us think and perceive everything in a whole different way. Oh, Mister, nice conversation. I'm sorry to cut it short, but I need to get the attendance. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, I, got, I got excited. Guys, stop me. Let's see. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present Thank teacher. You, Good evening. Thank you, Ingrid. Good evening. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivania. Ivette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Thank you, Maylin. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Thank you, Oscar. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Alexander López García. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Veronica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Oh, there's Wilfredo. Tiamara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Thank you, Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, well, let's see. Let's see, tonight it's going to be, we are going to do some exercises. So, of course, from the, from the manual, but tonight half of the class is going to be speaking conversation, okay? But as you just having a conversation with me, is, I mean, it's going to be good, but we are not going to have it that big because I will also send you to work. Uh, on your own, but let's see, let's see who else is around. Uh -huh. Ingrid, hello Ingrid, how are you? Hello teacher, mm, very good teacher, it's great. I am great. Okay. And you teacher? Me? Yeah. You know. Same old story, working well today. Oh, today I had a lot of work on the computer. Uh, today I am work, I am work in at home. And my day is very, is very relaxed. Oh, really? Yeah, I oh, run okay. too and I work, I work. Mm -hmm. A relaxing day. Wow, that's nice. What that's like. 
¿Cómo será eso de un uh, relaxing day? I, I wonder. I mean, must be nice, right, guys? Bonito. Mm, it's not all day. It's sometime, sometime, the, or rarely day. The, no son todos was, los días? How do you say? It's not every day. It's not every day. Yeah, but it's good. It's good to have you here. I think my, I think uh, my, my boss is, is travel. Your boss is going to travel. Uh -huh, my boss, he, she going to travel. Sometimes She's... she. Sometimes soon? Pronto? ¿Cómo? Anytime soon? I don't understand. Pronto? You're telling me that your boss is going to travel. Me dice que yeah. siempre va a viajar. Okay. And then I ask you, is he or she? She. Okay. I am asking you this, look. Is she going to gonna travel. travel anytime soon? Oops, I'm sorry, soon, double, N, double O, soon, anytime soon? Uh, uh, she come back uh, Monday, the next Monday. Oh, she's coming back next Monday. Mm -hmm. She's coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I nice. I think the the reason because the my this this day is very relaxed. Ah, because the boss is not there. That's why you feel it like ah, oh, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, Ingrid, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my friend? I'm fine, teacher. At the hotel tonight? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, that's better, right? That's better, es mejor, right? Yes, yes, teacher, yes. Okay, well, and tell me, when are you coming back to San Salvador? Mm, about to San Salvador. Three days. In three days? Oh, so you're gonna be, be there the whole week? Yes, yes. Okay, well, that's life, no? That's the job. Yes. And how's the weather? ¿Qué tal el clima? Mm. Fresco, 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 está fresco. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice, that's nice. Well, Wilfredo, nice having you here. Welcome. Okay, let's see who else is here. Who else is here? Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Mm, nice because I am eating pizza. I'm sorry? I am eating pizza. Oh, that's nice. What's your favorite pizza? 
Okay. But, uh, Hawaiiana. Uh, Hawaiiana, you don't like it. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I also love anchovies. Anchovies pizza is uh, something that I love. Mm, okay, and tell me, what's your favorite uh, pizza? Pizza parlor, pizza restaurant. Mm, um, it's Papa John's. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice. Uh, let's see. My, my favorite pizza, wow, I got two. I got two two places that I love their pizza. Uh, that I can tell that it's my favorite. One is uh, Charlie Boys, and the other one is the uh, Pomodoro. Oh, delicious pizza! I mm -hmm. love them both. But uh, you know, I am also I don't tolerate that much. I mean, junk food. But it's good. Once in a while, it's good to have some junk food. Thank you, Veronica. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Mr. Chavez, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm fine, but a little stressed because I don't like the traffic. I heard, I heard that. You hate traffic? Yeah, okay. I hate it. Uh, because uh, I lose, uh, I lost a lot of time in my life, and uh, but I don't like it. Yeah, being in traffic is like that. I understand. I mean, and living in El Salvador, that's I, every day. Uh, uh, I live in, in in near of Mexicanos, but uh, I go to Santa Tecla, so. In the in the morning, it's very it's very very hard to to come there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll give you a, an example that is even I mean a situation that is as as interesting as yours. Uh, you know, here your classmate. Uh, let's see who's. Oh, Wilfredo. Wilfredo. He worked by Opico, if I'm not mistaken, right? And he travels when he's in San Salvador, when he's uh, staying there, he travels from Opico to Ilopango. Right, Wilfredo? Very complicated. Every day. Yes, yes, sir. That's beautiful. He gets, he hits the traffic in Soyapango, down okay. to San Salvador. Well, Ilopango's then Soyapango, then downtown San Salvador, then Santa Tecla, then Los Chorros. Very complicated, that is, not, that is not easy, teacher. No, that's terrible, that's terrible. Terrible, yes. Yeah, you know, uh, in my case, to be honest, <laughs> traffic doesn't stretch me. Really, why? What, what, what is the reason? I mean, uh, it's not something I can do nothing about. I mean, when there's, when there's a, a, I mean, if I am in San Salvador, I try to, to find, to find how to, how to get out of traffic. But if I cannot, If I cannot, I mean, I just, the, what, what am I going to do? The gasoline is very expensive. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Very, I very know expensive. Then. Yeah, I mean, but what can I do? I just have to. Yeah. I mean, uh, we don't have, uh, and we don't have, uh, and we don't have another choice. 
another option at this moment. So yeah, just... I mean, well, you can get a motorcycle. Yeah, uh, uh, I think about it. I think about uh, about uh, the option to to buy a, a motorcycle to save money. Yeah, I mean traveling it is to San Salvador. Sure. Traveling to San Salvador. I mean it's it's an option, but uh, in in winter is dangerous. Yes, because uh, in in this country there are uh, bad streets. Yeah, I mean terrible streets. I mean the roads are like messy. They are in bad bad shape. But as I tell you, I mean there's that's not something we can solve. I mean when it comes to traffic, I mean what can we do? Okay, that teacher. something that, that we just have to accept. Yes. Nice to meet you, teacher. It's a pleasure. My, nice having you here, mister. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Activity. Okay. Today we are going to talk about uh, about families and the roles we play in families, okay? So we are going to talk about the, the roles we play and it's going to be very, very interesting. So let's see. <laughs> okay, the very first two questions we are going to analyze I did, are these. Do you see yourself as a typical man or woman? That's the first one. And the second one goes like this. Uh, are the responsibilities of a mother the same as the responsibilities of a father to their family? What do you think about it? What's your opinion? That's what we are going to be talking about. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You're going to have uh, a few minutes so you can discuss these very interesting questions and we will see about it, okay? So groups are open, five minutes. Ask and answer, tell me your opinions, okay?
Well, let's go check them groups. Alino. <laughs> In, in this case, Yvette is an uh, untypical woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And you? I'm just, I'm just a man. I work every day. I teach Bible. It's a work. It's a work as as anyone anyone. You practice Anyone? song four? No. What I I practice what? Sport, Any sport. soccer. Uh, I have a trouble with my knees. Ah, really? <laughs> yes, I only walk and and do some one workout. Because the typical man, the typical man always <laughs> say in the Sunday, no, I need to go to the place soccer. Where Cafe no, no, whatever like place. To, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like play soccer. Ah. I don't like it. I don't like I like I really like um watch TV. Ah really? Uh, Series? Yeah, watch movies. Yeah. I really um, like um, it, but I don't have time to to that. <laughs> yeah. I really I am really busy, but when I have time. I I watch TV. Mm. Um, almost the time I watch um, this channel. I don't remember what is the name in the internet. Do you remember? Which one? Hmm? Which one? What is the topic? The channel? Is a, is a Discovery. channel? Where... No, no, it's not a channel. It's an where you you can watch a lot of movies ah. you 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 pay monthly the the membership and you can and you can watch a lot of movies hmm. yes um HBO, netflix next netflix next yeah netflix, netflix got it yeah netflix. <laughs> yes too much yes. movies in series yes huh? i like it i see yeah. i really like it I, I watched um, uh, a series uh, called uh, uh, Blind Spot. Hello, guys. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hello, Oscar and Maylin are, are not uh, Maylin, you busy? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And Carlos Abrego? Just you, Salvador. Hello, teacher. Just you here. Solo usted por acá. Yes. Okay, let's do something. Sí, es que sus compañeros creo que tienen problemitas con... Yes, yes, yes. Let's do something. ¿Qué le parece si lo cambio de grupo? Ah, ok. Ok, no problem.
Hello, teacher. Sir. Hello, mister. We are waiting estoy, for everybody. Estoy lloviendo bien fuerte aquí. Oh, let's hope you don't get, you don't lose connection. Espero que no. We'll see, we'll see. If anything, let me know, okay? Okay. Oops, what happened to Oscar? We lost Oscar. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Rosalina. Yes, teacher. Do you see yourself as a typical woman? Tell me. <laughs> I'm talking about with my classmate. I, I really, I think now is, is, is you think about the papel, como se dice papel? Yeah. Role. The role in, in the house, so like a wife, clean the, the dishes, clean, uh, clean the house and something. I think uh, uh, I am a typical because I, 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 mo I mom, I am a mom, a professional, and also take an English class <laughs> and make another activities. And then I think no, 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 I don't. I don't know a typical woman in our culture. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Ingrid? Teacher, I love in the conversation. Repeat, please. Do you feel you are a typical woman? No, teacher, I think no. <laughs> Why not? Tell me. But I think this, uh, how do you say, uh, estoy en, no en contra, pero sí tengo como diferentes, um, I have a different uh, meeting, the, the, the role, the woman in the, how do you say, sociedad? Society. Society. Um, for example, this uh, only woman uh, did the, the activities in the house, they wash the dishes, mm -hmm. um, whatever activity. But uh, I, don't, I don't like this, this pensamiento. This way of thinking. This way of thinking. Of thinking. Yeah, of yeah, I understand you. But um, the stereotype. How, uh -huh. In my case, for example, I say um, in the room I'm co-worker, I live I live alone, and for my family it's very complicated because uh, because it's no no era en el tiempo decía mi mamá, <laughs> but uh, say. Uh, en contra de todo. I don't know, but yeah, I understand you. Yes, Believe understand me, for understand. Uh, for me or my mother. Ah. <laughs> well, I understand your mom. I mean, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. as I was telling you, the roles they have changed. The way we perceive the situation is is different, quite different. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Now let's see, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luis Antonio. Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Tell me, do you perceive yourself as a typical man? No, teacher. 
Uh, I see I see myself as a typical man because I don't always like every John. Okay. What what do you think makes you different? Um <laughs> in the foreign in opinion for in something case uh, I don't know uh, Compartir, como, como se dice, compartir ideas. Share, share ideas. Share ideas. And it's a, this is my problem. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your okay, participation. DJ. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, um, about Alexander, what about you? Okay, it's your hands. Uh, I am a typical man. Uh, uh, my life is to work and spend spend time with my family. Uh, okay. Uh, my life, my life is work. Is, is I don't have a, a visas. Visas? I don't have this. Visas. My and uh, maybe maybe I I am not a typical man uh, because I I can cook I can cook very well and others men uh, uh, maybe maybe cannot uh, yeah that that I am typical typical man. Okay, perfect. Let's see, and one last one. Thank you very much, Mister. What about you, Mister Carlos Abrego? Let's see. Well, perhaps he's having problems. Veronica, what's your situation? What's your perception according to this topic? Tell me. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Guys, let me get the second attendance, please. <clears throat> Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Ivania. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maile Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Salvador Alexander López García. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present teacher. <coughs> Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Xiomara Elizabeth Gonzalez. Present. 
Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem, Carlos. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, guys, now we are gonna work with the manual a little bit. We got something to cover from here. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Let me just get something here ready. Okay, we're gonna go to page number 17 in the manual, okay? And we are going to read, uh, actually the exercise is reading. So let me share with you. Okay, we are going to talk about managers. You have to read the five requirements of the perfect manager according to an article, okay? This is not like on stone, I mean. Number one, be a people person, be a people person. North Cell is people, and we are looking for managers who like people. This is the name of a company, okay? You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. I'm sorry. If you are better with computers than people, and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Okay, now, before I move on, any question about these two? Be a people person, be a good communicator? Teacher, I have a doubt with, with the, last, the last line. And the number one, if kingdom or yes, Klingon, Klingon, Klingon. What is that? Okay, Klingon is the uh, uh, Star. Let's see, Star Trek language. I mean, it refers. They are making fun of the ah, people. Ah, Star Wars. Yeah, you remember? Well, Star, Star Trek, Wars. Yeah. I remember Klingon. that. Star yeah. Wars. It's a language they speak there. So if you are the person that likes to be on the computer and you understand those things, I mean, you are not good for being a manager. Yeah. And the other okay, guys, one you tell me, tell me. What is managerial is grupo gerencial. Yep. Okay. Okay, this is only that. Thank you. Okay, perfect. 
teacher and I understand that Norsok Norsok is um it's the name company. of the company. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's continue. No more questions? Teacher. Yes. In the second paragraph. Yes. Uh, can you say what is the meaning of the feedback? Feedback, retroalimentación. And up and upper. No, let's see. Number two. Uh, uh... Follow feedback from upper or upper. Um, upper management, okay. That's uh, 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 the más arriba, una gerencia mayor. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. Teacher, but this upper manan, eh, o sea, solo tiene ese significado cuando es junto con eso. Upper, what upper, is the meaning? Yeah, upper, yeah. más arriba. Okay, ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Be technically proficient. Okay. The products we create at Norxel are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguin does not qualify you as technically proficient in line of. Questions in number three? No, teacher, only the letter C with the oh um, with the numeral it, it's a language of yeah 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 program. it's coding program. it's coding it's a c sharp yeah okay it, yeah it's how to say numeral in english uh, hashtag uh, or no 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 no, no. <laughs> hashtag no it's actually numeral, but there's another way to say it. Let me remember. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Let me remember. Let me remember. Yeah, because. Uh, mm. It's. Uh, 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 I always forget. It's a uh, numeral. I mean, it's numeral. Let's see. It's number sign, no, number sign. That's the way we say it. Number sign. Hash, hash. I mean, to be honest, hash is in British English. I mean, we use it, but it's in British. Hash. But in American English, it's a, a number sign. And hashtag, it's actually a La palabra precedida por ese símbolo. That's hashtag. La palabra que lleva de, que va después del símbolo. But the name of the, of the sign, el nombre del signo es number sign in American English. In British English is hash. Okay, nice. Thank you. No problem. Uh, yeah, and, and the other one is coding. Let me continue, let's see.
Okay, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Nordox. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Nordox for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for manager. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Questions? I don't remember what is the meaning of the encourage. Motivate. Okay, thank you. Remember teamwork, eh, trabajo en equipo. Teacher, when I say in fact, in fact, eh, what I can say, de ah, hecho. De hecho. Yeah. Thank you. And actually, uh, you can also say it as this. As a matter of fact, actually me, me, uh, in my case, when I am speaking, I don't use in fact. When I am speaking, I say, as a matter of fact. Is uh, equals, equal meaning. Yeah, and colloquially you can say actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. Actually, in realidad, bro. Actually. Yeah. In fact. De, de hecho. The difference, the difference is this. If we are talking about, about level of speaking. Si hablamos de, de niveles, okay? Level of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. You say, actually. Actually is, actually is here. In fact, is here. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you are speaking, on speaking, remember, just in speaking, as a matter of fact, it's here. Okay. When you are speaking, but now pay attention to this. When you are writing, in fact, as a matter of fact, they get together. You will find, as a matter of fact, more in literature. And you will find, in fact, more in perhaps technical or regular language. That's the difference. But in one, when you, yeah. In one explanation, yeah. in one yeah. meeting. In fact, yes. In fact, okay. Yeah. But the, if you're going to talk about somebody who's literate, uh, they are going to say, as a matter of fact, it's more okay. formal. Yeah, and colloquial, it's, actually. Yeah. It's now, okay. notice something. Notice also something, guys. And that's why I, I have uh, allotted a little bit of time to this part, to this reading. Notice something. The, the way in which they are presenting the information here, even if it's in Britain, it's uh, like a more informal. I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Algo que quiero que tomemos en cuenta es esto. Si ustedes prestan atención al texto, les está presentando una información dirigida a gerentes, pero la presentación está siendo bastante informal. El vocabulario que están utilizando no es un vocabulario formal. I mean, no suena muy, muy literario, por así decirlo. Sino que es algo como easy, easy going. Sí, como más relajadito, ¿verdad? Because if you notice the idea they are, they are trying to get into the people is that managers there are like everybody self. Están dando a entender que los gerentes en esta empresa son un miembro más del equipo. 
right? It's informal. It's a kind of informal relationship. Let's continue. Any question before I move on? Alguna pregunta? No? Okay. No, no. Lead by example. The best managers lead by example are not so. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Questions? Oh, what is the meaning lay, leading, leading, leading? Leading, guiar. Guiar, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And for pontificating? Pontificar? Fortificar. No, 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 no. Pontificar, as in Spanish. Pontificar. Do you know the word in Spanish? That's the situation. No. No. El término no. en okay, no. pontificar. I mean, I use the word, I use it in Spanish. How can I? Yo la uso en español. Uh, cuando estoy pontificando, I'm sorry, I will explain, explain the word in Spanish. Cuando estoy pontificando es cuando yo me paro frente a ustedes y comienzo a decirles. Ok, esto debe de hacerse de esta manera, debe de realizarse este proceso de esta otra manera. But I talk to you like if I am very high from you. Pero estoy hablando con ustedes como que estoy muy arriba. Como que no somos iguales. Ok. Para darle una idea, el pontífice es la máxima autoridad de la iglesia católica, right? Entonces, cuando usted está pontificando, está hablándole a los demás como que ustedes, ¿para qué? La última Coca-Cola, ¿verdad? The best of the best. Entonces, they are telling you, in this company, not pontificating. Okay? I mean, you are one more of the team. You are not above nobody. Usted no está por encima de nadie. So, don't talk to the people like that. Okay, it's clear. Okay, perfect. No, it's nice. It's nice when we get the chance to, to get all this vocabulary, right? Teacher. Yes? I have a doubt. Um, you tell me. Please. Uh, when do you use, when you can use a bathroom, um, in this case, washroom, and the other one is uh, tocador. No, no me acuerdo del, del nombre. Okay. Well, it depends. You got, you got bathroom. Mm -hmm. You got uh, WC. Some people still say WC. Just the two letters, right? WC. WC. So, yeah. WC. Uh, you got bathroom, mm. you got uh, bath, you got, uh, in some situations, people say dressing room. Dressing room, dressing um, maybe the place where you dress up and dress out, right? Yeah, but I mean, the difference is very simple. Bathroom, okay? But there's another one. Oh, restroom. Restroom, yeah, it's right, restroom. Okay, the difference between bathroom and restroom is that in the bathroom, you got a shower or you got a bath too. Mm -hmm. The restroom is what we call here a baño social. In your house, you can have a restroom. One no, no, without... No, no. Yes, some houses they got it. Algunas casas lo tienen. They got the, the one that is just for the people who comes to visit. El que es para la visita. They just got ah, one yeah, bathroom yeah, where yeah. there's the toilet and the and the and the basin, the where you wash your hands. 
and that's it. No shower, mm -hmm. no ducha, right? Uh, and then bathroom, have a shower, and or a have bathroom. a toilet, and yes. the, wa the hand washer. And yeah. the oh. restroom, mm -hmm. the restroom is only with the, with the toilet and the, the hand washer, is right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and then in this case, washroom, what is that? The washroom is it's a place where- It's restroom. Mm, it's synonymous. Yeah. But okay. of a restroom, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher, really thank you. Just remember that a washroom is, it's in a public space, okay? You okay, must like a that. restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant at school. Okay, and the church, what I have? Washrooms. Washrooms, it's okay. Yeah. I don't have restroom. Ah, it's same, it's same, yeah. also sorry. It's the same, it's a scene. <laughs> what you don't have are, what you don't have are, are bathrooms. Yeah, okay. I have restroom and a washroom and my church. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, before we move on, let me please read one more time. I will just read for you to, to, to get it, like uh, if you got any problem with the pronunciation of one word, okay? So let me read it once again. But I will be just reading, okay, guys? Okay. Okay. Give me just one second. Teacher, do you please repeat yes. the number, the page? Page number 17, exercise one. Yeah, be a people person. North Cell is people, and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using <clears throat> all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Number three, be technically proficient. The products we create at Norcell are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in feed. You should, you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or The March of the Penguin does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Norcell. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Norcell for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, little by example. 
The best managers lead by example at Northrop. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, now the activity. Are these statements true or false? Let's look at the statement. It is more important to manage systems than people. Number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. If you're a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. Okay, guys, that's the activity we're going to be doing, working in small groups. Let me share with you the image of the exercise. And I will also share the image of the full text. But first of all, first and foremost, I will send you to the work in the groups right now.
exercise I I think only the the exercise two. Okay. But I don't, I don't know. Yes. Yes. yes just number two. Okay. Okay. You are a manager. You can skip them. Remember, remember, guys, just exercise number two, okay? No more than that. Finish, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Because we are going back to the main room right now. Okay, we are just waiting.
Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Let's do the exercise. Okie dokie. Okay, Antonio, it is more important to manage systems than people, true or false? Nelson Antonio? False teacher. Okay, false. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you to you, teacher. False. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Ingrid? True or false? It's true. That's right. You're a communicator, right? Yeah. <laughs> I use it for you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and Yvette, in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough? Um. False teacher. Okay, false. Great. Well done. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. True or false? And uh, let's see. Salvador Alexander? It's true. It's true. Excellent. Wilfredo, if you're a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. It's false. It's false. I mean, you can do it, but you are not supposed to, right? Well, some managers, they do. We know they do. Okay, guys. Questions about the vocabulary? No? Okay. We go back again to, to, to work with vocabulary. Let me see. Okay, guys, we are talking, uh, if you remember, we go back to the conversation. I told you we were going to be having conversation now. Look at these questions I got here for you. And they are quite interesting. Are men and women equal in ability and intelligence? What things can either men or women do that the other cannot do and why? Very interesting questions. Are men and women equal in ability and intelligence, what things can either men or women do that the other cannot do and why? Let's discuss it. Remember, a healthy discussion, okay? I don't want fights. These topics are kind of tricky sometimes, okay? But remember, what we are doing here is sharing information. Use English, okay? As much English as possible. You will have four minutes for discussing, then you will come back here and I will ask directly to some of you, okay? Just four minutes, so let's see, hurry up.
time to bring everybody back. Okay, guys, let's see how did it go. Como les fue? Okay, let's see, let's see who's gonna talk to me right now. <laughs> Antonio. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, do you, do you think there are some activities that a man or a woman can do and the other one cannot? And in my opinion, yes, I think yes. that 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 it, that I want to do a woman a woman can do too. But the of the the process is different because a man is or or have more more ability or is more stronger. A woman can can do the same or can make the same as a man, but can be a little difficult. But yeah. I can I can see. Yeah, yeah yes, you, you, you say that you the can, yeah, I can get you that. Uh, I mean, yes, you think a man and a woman can do the same activities, but for some activities, the physical attributes a man have can make it easier for him than for a woman. Yes. Okay, interesting. Ingrid, what do you think about it? Thank you, Anthony. I think... Uh, uh, is the same the one people, uh, women or men, these intelligence and abilities. For me, it's same, but it depends uh, these people uh, development these abilities in their life. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you learn to, to, how do you acquire the abilities? But I, it's different for the condi the physical condition, uh, but it's no, it's no es un obstáculo, but it's no, uh, how do you say, it? no es un obstáculo? It's not an obstacle. <laughs> it's not an obstacle. It's not a, <laughs> no obstacle. 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 It's not a cost a uh, for the woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of the affirmation according to some scientific that yes, we are not equal, we are different? Yeah, it's very different. Do you agree with that? Because some scientists say, yes, we are different. Men and women are different. And that it's a big influence for us. Uh, for that, make us, that makes some activities easier for men than for women. And some activities easier for women than for men. Uh, it's not agreed. It's not agreed. But I recognize 
the different condition, the physical condition, but it's, I think- oh, it's No, but also, also in the mind, we are different. We are totally different. But I I don't agree. The oh, difference. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes, I mean the situation is this, uh -huh. uh, and that's not. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not me saying this. It's science. Yeah. According to science, we we process the, our mind processes are different. I mean, you are more analytical than a man. That's a fact. Yes. I mean, that's that's not under discussion. Nadie lo va a discutir. Las mujeres son más analíticas que los hombres. That is a fact. Okay? Which is good for some activities, but it's bad for some others. But I mean, that process is, is a given fact, and that are tested. Y hay datos que lo, que lo sostienen. Las mujeres son más analíticas que los hombres. Simple. But, uh, the way, as Antonio said, the way in which we perform some processes is different. Yes. The way in which we analyze situations are different. Like uh, task solving. Resolver un problema. A woman analyzes all aspects. A man choose one and try to solve it according to that. We are more <laughs> lineal. You can you can see more the global situation than us because we don't think that way. And that's that's data. I mean, that's not something that I am creating out of the blue. It's data. And and actually, well, my opinion, as you say, my personal opinion, that's what makes it interesting. Because I mean, if we were completely alike, this thing would be so boring. Si fuésemos completamente iguales, esto sería tan aburrido. Yeah, I mean, it's the differences what make us so special, actually. I mean, the, the, the individuality of the person is what makes each person special. And and that's, uh, I mean, it's complex because society is telling us that no, that we must be equal, but I mean, even between men, there's Luis Mario, there's Magdaleno, there's me. We are not equal. Even if we are men, we think different. We process different. We have different abilities. So, I mean, that's a fact. It's very interesting, this topic, actually. And tomorrow we are going to analyze. I mean, I don't want you, I don't want us to be discussing, I mean, arguing, actually. I cannot matter discussing. What I want you to do is to start thinking in more complex situations. Okay? Let me be clear what's the objective of this exercise. Quiero aclarar el objetivo de este ejercicio antes de que termine. No que estemos discutiendo sino que quiero que pensemos en conceptos más complejos, lo cual nos va a obligar a que nuestra mente eh, se vuelva un poquito más rápida a la hora de procesar las ideas y expresarlas, valiéndonos del otro idioma. ¿Okay? Ese es el objetivo de estos temas, o sea, no es para que discutamos, simplemente es para que nuestra mente trabaje un poco más. Y, I mean... I need you to be aware of that fact. I'm going to be pushing you like that. Lo voy a estar presionando de esta manera. Vamos a tener temas que podrán parecer conflictivos. La idea no es que sean conflictivos. La idea es que pensemos, analicemos y seamos capaces de pensar en inglés de una manera más compleja. Okay? So please don't get mad at me. No se bajen conmigo. Okay? The idea is for us to, to, to practice. I know that the, some of these topics are conflicting. They are. They totally are. But uh, remember, the idea is for us to think. I hope you don't have problem with that. Pero no tengamos problema. If there's any problem, let me know when I switch the activity. No problem, okay? Don't worry, teacher. <laughs> yeah, because teacher. Magdalena was looking at me like this, like, oh, man. Don't worry, teacher. 
Teacher, no, no, no. Way. I know, no I know because you, don't worry. I'm telling you because I mean the topics are like that, are not easy topics. Not so fatty. But uh, if you notice when we start thinking like that, we process more. Yeah. I mean, because we demand more from our mind, from our brain. Hey guys, let me get the final <laughs> attendance because. I mean, we get excited. I get excited with this type of topics, but time's over. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernández. Thank you, Ivan. Yvette Lisset de Calles. Present teacher. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present, teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present, present. Verónica present. Arelía Ayala Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Mr. León. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Thank you, Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Have a good night. Simar Elizabeth Cisneros. Good night. And Carlos Josue Chavez. Guys, thank you very much. A beautiful class. See you tomorrow. Please work in the platform. Finish the platform. Don't forget. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, good night. Good night. Okay, let's see. Oops, hey, right, come on. You weren't supposed to leave me alone. Well, we are going to wait here. Vamos a esperar acá unos minutitos porque no se suponía que yo me quedase solo.
Well, thanks, Sam. Give you a mind, Oh, it's a good to know.